shortly after we opened here in Hamilton. Uh, there was a, pr a pretty major incident in, in Eastern Canada uh, with a large snake, and it was a, a fatal incident. It was, it, was, it was very, very unfortunate. But after that, um, a lot of the rules, a lot of the laws changed across the country. And here in Hamilton, they made the decision that nobody can have prohibited animals in captivity. So that would be any species of crocodilians, uh, the giant pythons, and, and we actually did move them all out of here and we moved them to our Ottawa location for, for a short period of time. Um, but in Hamilton, they did, they did make a decision, they did make an amendment to that law, to that bylaw, where they said only CASA accredited facilities would be allowed to house prohibited animals. And we, we, we did everything we could to get our standards here in Hamilton up to the standards that meet CASA standards. And we went, we went through that CASA inspection and I, I, that's a day I'll, I'll, I mean, I will always remember. It was an actually not a day, it was three days of three CASA officials going through everything here from our education, from our enrichment program, all of our documentation. <clears throat> and our CASA accreditation, I, I will never, ever, ever forget receiving that accreditation myself. I received the plaque at the gala at the CASA conference in Moncton, New Brunswick. And that, that really um, put us on the map for accredited zoos out there. We did bring all those, we did bring prohibited animals back. We did bring our crocodilians back. We brought our um, big pythons back. And I've continued for the past six or seven years that we've been accredited, we have continued to live up to those standards. And uh, honestly, here in Hamilton, uh, that, that's one of my proudest accomplishments. It's one of my proudest accomplishments of my career. <clears throat>